Gold has always been very attractive, and it's no surprise that the Golden State is the dream state for most Americans. But what most people don't really realize is that California is the perfect example of all that glitters is not gold. So unless you're a millionaire or even a billionaire, the only gold that you'll be getting in California is the golden sunset. And that's if the government doesn't find a way to tax that too and make it expensive. From incredibly high costs of living to awful taxes and terrible natural disasters, here are 10 reasons why you shouldn't even dream of moving to California, or let alone visiting there anytime soon. Number 10. Overpopulation California is very close to the Mexican border, which makes it a prime target for illegal immigration. The state receives around 500,000 illegal immigrants every year, and more than 1 million foreign children are born. This inevitably costs the country over $25 billion per year, and since illegal immigrants don't pay taxes, the citizens are the ones footing the bill. This has made the state awfully overpopulated, and you know the problems that come with overpopulation as well as immigrants. The most significant problem with this overpopulation, aside from increased demand for everything, is the traffic, and the traffic in California is beyond terrible. If you're looking to avoid spending half of your day in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, this is not the place for you. Number 9. California is bad for business Suppose you're looking to start up a small business when you move to California. In that case, you might as well forget moving entirely because California will kill your business. California is ranked at 48th in terms of business climate by the Tax Foundation due to factors like high taxes and the general cost of doing business. To make it even worse is the fact that most Californians are flakes who'd rather go up for the big names than patronize small businesses. Thousands of businesses are moving out of California, increasing the unemployment rate due to the fact that people are getting laid off every day. So California isn't just the third worst state for business, it also ranks fifth on the list of states with the highest unemployment rate in the country. Still think you can hack it here? Number eight, the education system is in shambles. While you're thinking about moving to California, keep in mind that California's education is an absolute nightmare. One of the main reasons that contributes to this problem is the grossly insufficient funding the education sector gets in the state. One would think that with all the taxes the state government takes, that there would be enough money to be able to run the public schools smoothly. The teachers are equally poorly trained and not so enthusiastic about their jobs, so unless you've got a lot of money for private schools, don't expect to get a good education in California. Oh, except for college, but we all know how that is. Number seven, the cost of living is astronomical. The cost of living in the Golden State is 40 to 50% higher than the national average. Everything from groceries to utilities, and even transportation is grossly overpriced. You have to pay 20% more for your groceries, 43% more for utilities, and 33% for transportation. And don't even get me started with healthcare. You could go bankrupt from a common headache in California. With the price of groceries this high, it's very okay to cry over spilled milk. Just let it out. If you intend to move to California because it's the land of milk and honey, then you might want to reconsider this because that land that would milk you dry and sting you so hard for such little honey. Number six, housing and rent. Housing in California is a nightmare that would haunt you even in broad daylight. It costs about $750,000 to build just an average two bedroom home, which is three times the cost in other parts of the country. To buy a house, you would need to cough up at least a million dollars, and rent is pegged at $3,000 per month, and that's just for a comfortable apartment. The high cost of housing is mainly due to the limited supply of something that isn't in such high demand. Construction costs are also really high, so there aren't too many new houses being accommodated with all of the people that live there. Due to this, homelessness has increased by over 16% in the past year, and that figure is still increasing, so just don't move to California. 
you do not want to become a statistic for homelessness. Number five, California has ridiculously high taxes. As if the high cost of living wasn't enough, California has some ridiculous tax policies that ensure the residents are milk dry of their earnings. California is one of the highest state tax rates at 13.3%, and this figure could jump to a whopping 16.8% in the future. Everything is taxed in California, from food to water, smog and gasoline. Heck, there's even luxury taxes and a wholesome bunch of silent taxes that you won't even recognize are present. The state government finds a way to tax everything. Don't be surprised if your taxes tax too. At the end of the day, an average Californian spends more than 60% of their income on just taxes and gets nothing in return from the government. Number four, high crime rates. It turns out the education system is not the only underfunded sector in the state. The police are being treated poorly as well. Several budget cuts have left the police in California underfunded and spread out thin. Violent crime has risen over 40% in the past few years, and it's even gotten so bad that the police union put up a billboard in Stockton with the message, Welcome to the second most dangerous city in California. Stop laying off cops. In other words, enter at your own risk. With a crime rate this high, the entire state should have a billboard that says, Move here at your own risk. Number three, drug problems. You know, this isn't really surprising because you have a police department that's just not the best. Horrible education system, joblessness, poverty plaguing the people. What else do you want to point out? Although some measures have been put in place to combat this menace, drug abuse and drug-related deaths are still rampant. California went from 500 opiate deaths in 2000 to over 2,200 in 2019, and that's just opioids. Due to the high level of corruption, there are several thriving drug rings in the state, targeted at disconnected Americans and illegal immigrants. So, if you're trying to avoid getting tangled up with drugs, you might want to stay off this state. Number two, the legal system's a joke. Rather than looking for ways to protect its residents and make the state better, California's government is busy with enacting pointless laws that just make life more difficult. Some of the most outrageous laws include it is illegal for a man with a mustache to kiss a woman in Eureka, while it's illegal to store anything else other than automobiles in your garage. In January 2011, 725 new laws went into effect in California, and each year just seems worse. It's not even surprising that they have built 23 prisons in the past years and only one school. In a state like this, you could go to prison for just sneezing too hard. Lastly, number one, way too many natural disasters. If you think that California wildfires are the only disasters that happen in California, think again. Approximately 20% of the population is vulnerable to flooding due to the region's topography, and the remaining 80% are vulnerable to destructive earthquakes. This is because California is sitting on nearly 18,000 documented fault lines that are all very active. With earthquakes comes the high probability of things such as landslides and mudslides, and those aren't pretty either. There's also several storms and droughts in California throughout the year, from extreme winter ones to severe rainstorms in fall and spring, plus the extreme heat the rest of the time. This isn't even surprising because California is home to three deserts, including the hottest place in the world. And there you have it. Those are the top 10 reasons why you shouldn't move to California.